Hey everyone, Justin here with Day Trade Masters, bringing you another Training Tuesday video. We're going to be looking at taking a free trade setup from our DTM public channel and how to set that up, what to do, how do we best take advantage of that trade setup and give us the best chance to getting in profits. So step number one, we've got to jump over to our Telegram channel. If you haven't, I'll put the link below, have a look and look for a trade setup. So let's jump over there now. This is what the channel looks like. Feel free to scroll through. There's tons of information in here. You know, we're DTM is all about profits and education. Those are our two goals, right? And the more free education that we can share with people, the more profits that they can make, the bigger we can grow this community and 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 push adoption for crypto. Like that's what we're in this for, okay? So have a scroll through some really good stuff. And we've got a free trade set up here. So we've got MER USDT on the Binance chart. So at the time of this recording, USDT trading pair has been removed off of Binance because they're making that shift to BUSD trading pairs. But that's okay. It's a one-to-one -to, -one to the US dollar. So we just want to check out some liquidity differences, make sure that we're fairly safe. But MER being a fairly high market cap coin, we should be safe to do so. So we've got all the information right here. We've got our entry zone. We've got our two take profits. Our subscribed members have access to the higher take profits. You know, I think this one was up to TP5. Sometimes we go up to TP7, even higher. And then we've got our risk to reward. So this is always very important. So this is a 2.13 risk to reward ratio. So that means that we are risking less than half of what our potential is, if that makes sense. And then we've got an allocation limit. So at the time of the posting, we could put up to $11,000 on this coin as a market order. And that would move the price up about 2%, meaning that that order would most likely fill right around that 2% higher than spot order. And we can sell up to $32,000 without moving that price past that 2%. Now this changes all the time. I'm gonna show you how to do that. We've got our profit levels right here. So TP1 and TP2. Our time frames are always two to 14 days. Now, sometimes these work out within hours. Sometimes, you know, we're coming up to the 14 day mark, which will make that signal null and void, but we'll reassess it and we'll repost updates. And then all the other information down here. So let's just open this guy up so you can see the chart. We've got all the information from that text on here, but it builds a nice visual. So what we're gonna do is take this information and we're gonna put it on our own trading view chart just so we can have some alerts and have that visual to be able to manage that trade to the best of our ability. So jumping over, so I've got trading view up on the four hour. You can jump on a free account with TradingView. You'll have very limited access, limited limited amount of indicators, limited amount of alerts. So it's really up to you how you want to manage this. For me, doing this full time, the paid subscription is, I don't know what I would do without TradingView, honestly. So I like using horizontal lines. So we're going to put a horizontal line, horizontal ray, excuse me, on the chart. Now we can take this and right click it. So we're going to right click this. It's going to bring us to style. I like my entries to be blue. We can add text to it. We can do whatever. And then coordinates is, just makes it that much easier to dial it into that price. So entry was 0 0.095. And then we do have coordinates here that we can move this back and forth on the chart. I prefer to leave it in line with my candles. That way when the candles do move and say pass one of the lines that I have an alarm set, I do get that trigger. So I'm gonna leave it there. And then I'm quickly gonna add the rest of the lines. So my two take profits, I like adding the extra entry lines because it is a zone and then our stop loss. So I'm gonna do that now. And then we've got ourselves a chart. So with this chart, we can then start looking for alerts. But before that, we wanna know how much money we can put on this coin. 
Now, we do put the allocation size in the notes, but it is subject to change. Liquidity is all over the place, especially as of late with these exchanges. So we definitely want to check that out before we put any time into putting a trade on this asset. So we're going to jump over to CoinGecko now. So on CoinGecko, we're going to move up to search and we're going to type in that asset. So make sure it is the correct one. There is a lot of very similar tickers and asset names out there. So mere protocol, we get all the information we love CoinGecko for, but we're going to, we're headed down to exchanges. So I am trading on the KuCoin exchange. This is the exchange that I prefer to use. And I'm using my USDT pair. So this is the correct area that I want to look at. And really this information here, this is this is cool to see, but we're, for our purpose, we're looking at the plus 2% and the negative 2% depth. So this means if I put a market order in for $4,200, I'm going to move that price up 2%, right? And my market order will most likely fill 2% higher than that spot order. So this will give me an idea of, the allocation size that I can put on this asset for this trade. Now, the same is true when I'm looking to sell, when I'm looking to get out of the market. So I can sell up to $7,000 on a market order and that will drop the price 2%. So my order will most likely fill 2% below the current spot price. So this gives you an idea of allocation size. If you are looking to put a larger uh, position in on an asset that has a 2% depth looking like this, then that's where we want to start looking at limit order books and just enter the coin slowly. Okay. So a little bit more strategic that way, but if you're sticking with just asset allocations, this is, this is probably your safest method. So now that we've got that, let's jump back over to trading view. So I do have this on replay because this was a free trade that set up from a few weeks ago. So I'm not going to be able to set alarms for you guys, but I can show you exactly how it's done. So we always talk about waiting for support on entry. So we want to see candles build support on our entry. That is our safest method and our results don't lie. So we've got we've got tons of data from last year that we just we started tracking and overall for the year we're about 88 to 90% chance that if the candles come up to our entry zone that we're hitting take profits. So crazy accuracy. So that's the safest bet, especially if you're just starting out. If you're if you've been trading for a while, well, that's where some of these indicators come in. And you know, when you're ready for that next level, that's where the ultimate trading course can really take you to the next level. It dives into everything. It builds your foundation for trading view, exchanges, how to read indicators, plus you get the detonator, which is what this little guy is, and detonator B and detonator C built like waves, momentum, really helps dial in those entries. I love it. So we're waiting for entry. We want to know when this coin breaches our entry zone. So we can come in here, just simply click, and then we get a little pop up over here. So I'm going to click add an alarm. Like I said, this is on replay mode, so not going to be able to show you that, but we can add alarms. That way, anytime the candle moves past or through this line, we're going to get a, we're going to get an alert. And if you have your trading view account on your phone as well, you'll get it to your device. That way, if you're away from home, living life, you know when you get back to your laptop, you've got something to look at, maybe a decision to make, whether it's entering a trade, maybe you took profits, things like that. So now that we're in the trade, let's say we see something like this that's that support that's beautiful that's where we want to enter and this coin decides to run up to tp1 so through our exchange and our set and forget strategy we can set up tp1 and tp2 as sell orders in kucoin or binance that way you know when we're living life if this coin decides to run we've got our take profits in place and we also have our stop loss in place so we don't have that stress of worrying that we have our money in a market unprotected. We've got it protected on both sides. We're going to be taking our profits and we're, we've got our stop loss. So our assets are protected. It's all about risk management. So let's say we hit our TP1 and we've sold 50% of our coin there. And we've got the other 50% sitting to be sold at TP2. 
Now, the first thing I want to do if I see a TP1 hit is I want to take my stop loss and I'm going to reduce my risk. Now, I like coming up to where I entered. That way, it's a free trade after this. I've sold 50% of my coin for profit. If I get stopped out the other 50%, it's a free trade. I still made money. I still made money on 50% of that trade, right? Now, you can do whatever you want. You can move this stop loss up, down. You can move it to wherever you want. It's complete freedom. That's what we love about trading. This is just data, and it's up to you how to implement it. So we're giving you some, some successful strategies that we've used in the past, time-tested, proven, to give you a leg up, especially if you're just starting off. And then we start moving up, and we hit TP2. Beautiful. So now we're out of the market, but we're not done yet. We still have these levels set up. What's What happens if Mer decides to do this? And we see this often where we have a nice run up. We hit a TP1, TP2, maybe TP3 even, or sometimes it just rockets, but we hit the first few TPs and then we have a nice retracement. And then we start seeing it build support again. Well, this is where we can use farming and start compounding our gains. So now we can take our initial investment as well as our gains and jump back into the market and ride this back up for that next wave, right? So we've compounded our gains. So instead of, you know, selling at 5% or so and 11% or so, we can do this two, three times. We've had coins where we've been able to farm TP1, TP2, TP3, like three, four times during the, the duration of that trade setup. So Tons and tons of different strategies here. I'll post the link to the article in the description of this video that goes through this beautifully. But this is the power of day trade masters. And whether you have a ton of time, you can sit down at the computer, you can run that compounding and and farming strategy, or if you're out living life and, and crypto is a bit of a hobby for you, it's a set and forget, right? And then we're using the exchanges and their functions to be able to protect our capital as well as take our profits. So we always talk about lick your ice cream. Lick your ice cream means take your profits off the table. If you don't, someone else will, right? This is something that, you know, new traders get into. We get all excited when we see our, our account, our portfolio start moving. But if you don't take profits, what's the point? You're in this to make money. You're into in this to take this amount of money and make it into more, the market gives you that opportunity. You make sure that you are taking it off the table. There is a ton of different strategies you can use to make sure that you're not exiting the market completely and missing an entire run. The biggest thing is make sure you are taking some profits off the table on every trade that gives you that opportunity. Lots more to come, guys. Make sure you hit up our AUA on Friday, every Friday. This is a new year. Let's make 2023 way better than 2022. 2022 was a great year. If you've been following us for any length of time, you know, long-term outlook of the markets might not be that great, but any long-term downward move, movement like this always has some major upsides and a lot of volatility on the shorter term. So that's where day trade masters and our strategies can come in and help you get into some gains, get into some profits and live life. So that's all I got for today. We'll see you next time. Leave some comments. Let us know what you like best. What you what if, if there was something you didn't like, something you want to see for next time, we're always open to feedback and we hope to see you at the AUA here this Friday. Take care.